Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Victoria 2 as the United States. So I think the reason that I lost control of Colombia is that when Great Britain decided that they wanted it, I only had them at lowest priority. So I had it set up in a way that they were able to spend more than I could on it. And I think that making them waste a lot of influence on all these other countries was good, but now I think it's time to undo it. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, because I... I need to get the influence where I need it. You know, I need I need it right now on... That makes sense. You can just right click to go down. I need to get it. I need Columbia back. I want that canal. I want the prestige from it, and I want the strategic benefit to being able to go through it. I'm assuming that you can go through it. It'd be foolish if you couldn't go through it. I mean, you can go through it in E4. I'm just spreading myself far too thin on influence. Making it very difficult to compete over Colombia. Okay, South America, country, 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 Colombia. Still banned. So that means that I'm not actually doing anything with anybody right now. How long until we're banned? Sixteen of May. Okay, so if we can't do that, then why don't we be as aggressive as they have been? Columbia is only cordial with... Uh, France. Why is the United Kingdom in this position now? What is going on? France is number one. They've taken the lead over the UK. Amazing. Anyway, um, I still hate you, and so I'm going to just pick one of your dudes, and we're going to put all of our effort on him. Since so you have no influence with them, you can't stop me, and I'm going to de-sphere them from you. So, ha. I also have nine diplomacy points, so let's go talk to them and increase relations. And we'll also do it with um, the second guy. A star. I wonder, um, perhaps... I should do more investment in other countries down here. Foreign investment. Um, other. South America. See, no one's invested really anything here. Uh, actually, what's this then? Who are you? North German Federation has invested in Colombia. How dare you. Well, at the very least, it prevents... If, if Great Britain doesn't spend any money on Colombia, then they have the full negative 50% influence penalty with them. The fact that they have spent some money means that now, when I go to try to influence Colombia, which I can't see right now because of the darn embassy ban, um, it, would, it would show a penalty. So we'll hold off until it's time to actually invest in them again. But then again... I'm going to go to uh, Venezuela, and we're going to invest in some rail. I want to build... Can I build it from the screen? That'd be the most ideal. I don't want to build a factory. Fine, I'm just going to just do it down here. Let's just go and... Um, find some provinces in each state that we can build railroads for them. Allows foreign investment? No. Bolivia? Why are you guys all not letting me invest? That seems pretty stupid for you. We'll just upgrade that stuff for them. It should keep, um, keep out the other people. You know, we've invested some now. Oh, you know what? I'm crazy, aren't I?
See, I was seeing... I was... I was what? Alright, I was looking at it wrong. North, North German Federation had it invested. It was me. I had just moved slots or something. Anyway, this must be the total amount of investment, and this is how much I've invested. So, yeah, no one's invested anything but me. That's good. So that should prevent anyone from sneaking our people away. Someone has talked ill of us behind our backs. Columbia has dropped Cordial. So they are really putting on the afterburners while I'm banned. So you can play that game. Bastard. We're getting 0.17 per day, that's pretty good. I have no idea if I actually want them in my sphere or not, I just want them out of the other guy's sphere. Okay. War is going 15%. Still don't think I can add a war goal to Spain. I don't know. I don't know. I'm disappointed in that, but I don't think I can do anything about it. I'm going to go ahead and set up a, a rally point again. There. For ships. We're not building any more over here, are we? No, I think they're all done. And these ships, I would love to connect, but until we can get control of Columbia again... I've never played the Influence War game, so I'm a bit unskilled at it. You've got some that can't reinforce at all, but you know I don't I don't want to disband them because they're all getting experienced. They've been fighting for a while now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go siege up north. We're going to punish him. Maybe I should just send my navy over there. If I sent my whole navy all together, I wonder how well they could fight. They'd probably just die. And I want them for this colonial power. Yeah, they've got huge navies. Third fleet, 89 ships. 73 combat ships. Wait a minute. 73, 16, 0. What, what does 73 mean? Are you saying 73 heavy ships, 16 light ships? Or is it flipped inexplicably, kind of like the other one is? You guys are just the degenerates to hang out and take that back slowly. All right. Well, I think we're gonna we're we're pretty secure here now. I'll go siege whatever I can up north. Sounds like we can't actually buy do the Alaskan purchase until the war's over. It's just not showing up as an option. Or maybe I missed the opportunity for it. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Am I missing something? Why are they not rallying?
We've got more socialists again. These newspapers are constant. Fears of Baden. Oh, that sound was peace. <laughs> Evidently. Uh, the Ottoman Empire accepted the peace offer from the Russian Empire. Terms acquire Thessalia. Okay. So you're saying that... Greece acquired Thessalia because of great power intervention. Interesting. Okay, well that was that. Um, now we have a truce, apparently, with other countries. That is very anticlimactic. So, choose with us until 1869. If we go and we look at um, a kingdom, we have a truce until 1870. So that means that we have a year that we could fight Mexico again. But we would need to justify something before we could declare the war. And we can't justify claims until the truce timer is up. So January 6, 1870 versus, um, what was it again? Yeah, we only have like three months. It seems pretty unlikely that we're going to get a, a freebie war against them. We've got 7% war exhaustion. Perhaps we have more decisions? Yep, Seward's Icebox. We can buy that thing now. Okay, so we can buy Alaska. President negotiations with Russia over a sale of Alaska have stranded and Russia's declined to sell us the territory. You bastards. After the events of the Crimean War, Russia has begun believing that it could not hope to protect its North American progressions, possessions in the event of another war with Britain. What? So why didn't you sell it to me then, you bastards? I mean, they liked me. Didn't they? I helped. I basically held off the British here, dude. You bastard. Hmm. I hear I was thinking we were going to get some more land. Finally. Still banned for another four months. Well, at least at least they had to spend a lot of influence to ban us, but it almost feels like they make more influence than I do. Let's speed the game up again, I guess. I'm at a loss for how I could have done that better. We didn't get anything out of Spain. Hawaiian Islands becomes more socialist. Yeah. I don't want that. Well, at the very least, in five years, we can colonize. Starting where, though? Where are we going to colonize? No naval bases are close enough. I'll need to probably spit out another tech to increase the naval base size. But just in case, let's try to upgrade the naval bases everywhere. They're already being expanded, they just... Can't go any higher. So what's the technology that's going to give me... Alright, we need Raider Group Doctrine next. So we can get up to level 3 naval bases, hopefully before 1870, which will hopefully... What would be the next range upgrade? Level 3 has a range of how far? Come on, I know I saw one that's level 2. Next level's colonial range plus 150. So another 150 from there. 
I think we'd totally be able to reach Africa. We'll get that going. Our ships are faster now. 11 kph. Pretty significant upgrade. We are at peace. I really want to smack Great Britain some more. I'm really angry about what they've done. I'm also at a bit of a loss for where to put my uh, put my armies. Hmm. We've discovered how to construct construct the ironclad. That was one of the requisites to make Panama. We've invented iron steamers. Not the ironclad, the iron steamers. Have nitroglycerin and machine tools. Um, why do we not have those? Is that like a trade good? Nitroglycerin. It'd be an industrial good. Nitroglycerin? We can't buy them on the market? Or they're just not invented yet. What's going on with that? Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure how that how that whole part works, but we'll figure it out eventually. Besides, it's not like we can do it right now. Not until we are no longer banned from the Colombian embassy. That makes me mad. I mean, Colombia's my ally. Don't you dare try to sphere them or anything. A16. How are we doing on the one... Um, I mean, I'm getting influence with your guy, so ha. And then knock some other people out of your sphere. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. Um, and for now, I guess real quick, we'll just go to the infrastructure map mode. And uh, let's expand the fort level. Nah, let's just click on every state. Expand the fort level everywhere. Just be really upgraded and good. So that when they inevitably end up at war with us again, because you know they will, we'll just have excellent supply limits, better digging. Um, it's, just, it's just better for us to fight on provinces that have fort level. I think he might have to be the defender, though. Not really sure. I don't really know how this game works. Still learning. But what else are we going to spend money on, you know? Got to give the American people something to do. Something to work on. Okay, all right, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Actually, uh, Hawaii. There we go. All right, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.